Look at this friggin' guy. Hey, where'd you pick that up? Toys R Us? <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. But Uncle D, everything's already been found. What? Like everything? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I bought a motorhome and I'm hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter and this is Destination Adventure. You're probably thinking, looks like I'm going fishing. Not today. Today is Adventure Redemption Day. Hold on, rewind. Before you can have an adventure redemption, you need an adventure failure. Let's go back to yesterday. Here in Florence, my priorities are one thing, one thing only with the dunes wide frickin' open. It's the shame it's the off season. It'd be nice to have a parking lot full of people I could totally embarrass. Whew. Hey, what does that bike run on? Hopes and dreams? Straight race fuel. Hey, nice bike. Thinking about taking the train and wheels off? You running paddle tires on that? <laughs> Too much power for paddles. Probably just tear them right off. All jokes aside, the e-bike is by far the better bike for this adventure because of the fat tires. And I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get to fit this adventure in because it's been pouring rain for two days and I still have to get through a couple areas that could get a little bit snowy over the mountains. But I wanted to fit this one in because here in Florence, the dunes is a huge attraction. We used to go and play out there lots when we were kids on motorbikes and quads and sand rails and everything. So I at least wanna take the bike out and kind of show you the old stomping grounds. Rivers winding round words in my head. Different pines say that summer is dead. Just into a jump. And my hands are numb. <laughs> Bring. Do my best to swallow all the things I've done. Oh man. <laughs> if the sand would stay like this, we'd have some riding to do. Don't have bread. You won't go back on the things that you said. You bleed your heart out, and it takes every drum. <laughs> Dang it. You've come too far now to ever stop. Wash me in the water, and I'll never go back, even when I'm walking through dead man. I have never seen sand like this. It, it's like quicksand. You can hardly even walk in it. I don't know if that's from the heavy rain or what's going on, but the bike's having a hard time and it's just chewing through the battery. So I think we're going to head back. Well, I guess it wasn't a complete failure, but I still need an excuse for a good redemption.
Unfortunately, it seems that this is not destination adventure proof. I have broken it. <laughs> I came skidding in. Coming in off right here. Just eye this up. Went to turn out this way because it's a hole. And she just spun. I don't know. Anyways, I called the amigos over there at the rental place. They're bringing me another one. Just stuck in the dunes. I can leave Florence. You can't come to Florence without experience in the dunes and Torex is the company. They gave me a really good deal on that rig today so I could get out and experience the dunes and share that with you guys. And they were so good about that when it broke down. You know, that's all just the name of the game out there. And within 10 minutes, they had me another rig out there and I was back having fun. So big thanks to them for that. Let's whip it out of here. something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on too long and unresolved questions holds you down what could have been a friend might be a lot of wind in the microphone but I gotta walk out and check this out or something earthquakes here on the Oregon coast it's just a bunch of tsunamis I'm moving on. Moving on. bit of a time crunch here such a cute little town here I'm loving it definitely spend the night here in Bandon and I want to go back and enjoy that beach at low tide which is in just over an hour but first, I'm gonna go see if I can find that lighthouse. Sweet is my location, sweet as well my destination. If you're looking to see that again, then lighthouse, it's perfect. It's getting worried that there wasn't gonna be anywhere for me to turn around, but right here at the end, big parking lot. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. Wish it wasn't quite so windy. Love to fly the drone. How friggin' cool is this place? Wow. <laughs> I had no idea. This was an operational lighthouse. I thought it was just sitting out here. But I guess they close it in the off season. That's okay. I wish it was open. I'd love to get to see up there.
Whoa. Nice beach. See that? That's the jetty we were just walking on. Pretty wild to think that just 20 minutes ago, we were on the other side of the ocean. Life can be pretty crazy sometimes. <laughs> just over here in those waves, there's a harbor seal. It's not a harbor, bud. That's a beach. Harbor is that way, just on the other side. He's probably confused because of the storm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. I don't need to be there. That's close enough for me. Okay, seriously, you guys, you gotta quit having so much fun. Gotta get back to that beach before the sun goes down. Oh, <laughs> 10,000 steps. On on. On. A bit of a five point turn, getting out of the parking lot, no big deal. Let's go see how that beach is looking. I'll take my chances, I believe in dancing. When the times get hard, I ain't afraid to work. I watch the sunrise like it's the last time. I might ever get to see her smile. Looks like we have a little bit more sun left than I was anticipating. But check out this beach. Beautiful. There's one point right out there. It's called the wizard's hat. I don't know if we'll get to see it. I'm having super, super high tides right now. So low tide might not get far enough out to expose the hat. Don't you throw it. Don't you throw it. This is really an amazing beach right here. Oh, into some soft sand there. I hope tomorrow that when the tide's down, it'll be down far enough to get out in with these rocks here. So beautiful. Right there. That's as close as I can get, but that's the wizard's hat. This is a friggin' beautiful beach. I am loving this here. Oh, get up there. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Well, stranded on the island. What do you do? That's coming faster than I thought. Oh geez. Oh geez. Oh, oh, man. Oh, holy. Oh, oh God. Almost didn't get out of there in time. Shoot. Okie dokie, I am for reason Matisse. Let's get out of here. Well, I'll never know why I was born to go. But maybe I need to understand it. Okay. We have to do some serious thinking here, you guys. 
The plan was supposed to be to from Bannon to head east into California and then do, do the volcanic scenic byway, but it is storming east. Well, it's storming here. It's storming pretty much everywhere, but east it is snowing, and snow and the moho are not friends. So I think we're going to stay on Highway 101, do the remainder of the Oregon coast, and then do some of the California coastline. It's going to be rainy and maybe a little bit miserable, but it's a whole lot better than snow. And here in Bandon, there's a store called Farm and Sea. Best clam chowder I've ever had in my entire life. I'm going to polish this gallon <laughs> and mosey out of here. Take my Tennessee. It seems to me that the only constant I've found on my travels south is storms. Somehow I've managed to stay just ahead of the washouts and mudslides, but going into California looks like we might be heading right into the thick of it. But that's what makes it an adventure. I'm staying focused, we're moving forwards, and we're moving south. I'm in a nice little town right now called Gold Beach. You're not gonna believe what's sitting in the water as you're coming into town. Check this thing out. Do you guys realize what ship this is? This is the Mary D. Hume. It's actually a famous ship. This was built right here in, well, not right here, but <laughs> in this town in Gold Beach in the late 1800s. It was built as a coastal freighter, but then it was picked up and ran as a whaling vessel for about a decade. And that's what made it famous. It actually has two records, one of which is the biggest baleen catch in history, valued at a little over $400,000. And the other one is the longest Arctic whaling voyage in history at just over six years. Pretty wild. Just sitting right there. It's amazing. Well now that was a neat find. Now I have to find somewhere to camp, hopefully somewhere that's gonna be protected from the wind and the storms. So I think I might just wrap this episode here because moving forwards, it is all unplanned and uncharted territory. So thanks for watching everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. I'll catch you on the next one. Some people got a good hand Never wondering if they can I've been fighting what I'm feeling Needing something to believe in Oh, lift me up, lift me up From the valley 